Well, and another car takes the wall. Two of them. Everybody trying to get it slowed down to make sure they don't get on that carbon fiber debris. That brings a caution out. This is the 63rd lap. Always amazes me. There's Mark Taylor sliding to a stop and how fast the safety crews get there. Not been Mark Taylor's day. Ed Carpenter, the other car. Ironic, guys, that both Mark Taylor and Ed Carpenter are side by side in the pit lane. You think about it, you know, these two guys ran here in the Menards Infinity Pro Series against one another last year. Ed Carpenter won the race held here, Taylor the series. Carpenter is obviously okay, and that's good news. Well, Scott? Well, guys, two guys <laughs> going for the same piece of real estate, and it just doesn't work like that sometimes. Fortunately, the cars came around, scrubbed off a lot of speed in doing so. And they end up in the safer barrier, that steel and foam energy reduction barrier that the IRL has in place. Now, it looks like Taylor's trying to go around the outside of Carpenter. Remember, Carpenter's on the low side, but there's cars in front. Does he get a little bit of dirty air and the cars start to push up front? Here we go. We'll get a good sense of what's going on right here. And these passes. Darren went right through him. Now, no. guys, that, that's a side-by-side. -side. And I got to say that it's just maybe a hair high going through the turn. Watch his hands there. Takes his hands off the steering wheel. He, watch how much his head moves there. We talked about that before with the Hans device. You take your hands off the steering wheel because you don't want to hold on the steering wheel. When you hit the wall, that wheel snaps around and you can break your wrist. And I've actually got a left wrist here, guys, that's been broken before. Mark Taylor's got the wind knocked out of him. He's sitting on the ground right now. You talked yeah. about... You talked well. about those accelerometers that these drivers wear and their earpieces to measure the g-forces of the crash you know that the IRL will be downloading this information because that was a big crash absolutely so two the two of Eddie Cheever's Chevrolet powered cars one goes flying by and then Carpenter and Taylor go spin into the wall this way in turn three and I don't know who ran into him or what happened but somebody got into him in the rear when he's turned in the corner well, rookie, you pointed out he was having a great race thus far. He's doing fabulous. You know, Mark's, Mark's impressed us all year. He's really coming into his own, and uh, can't wait to go to the next one.